Good day, learners. Welcome to our day one, collecting data in one variable. Which fruit is your favorite? Who likes apple? Who likes bananas? Who likes orange? We just collected data. Today, we will learn how to collect data or information using one question or topic. That is called one variable. What is a data? Data is information we gather from asking questions or observing things. We can collect data by asking questions, counting, or observing. What is a variable? A variable is what we are asking about in our data. Example, what is your favorite fruit? Fruit is the variable. Steps in collecting data. First, choose a question. Example, what color do you like? Second, ask your classmates. Third, record their answers using tally marks or numbers. Let's read this. The class survey. One morning, teacher Lisa asked her pupils, what color do you like best? She wrote three colors on the board, red, blue, and green. Each pupil raised their hand to show their favorite color. Teacher Lisa made a tally on the board. In this table, favorite color of grade 1 learners, 4 of the pupils likes blue. 3 of the pupils likes red. And two of the pupils likes green. Then she said, Blue has the most votes. You all did a great job collecting data. Who asked the question in the story? What question did teacher Lisa ask? What were the color choices? Which color got the most votes? What did the pupils do to collect the data? Data is information that we collect from questions or observations. We can collect data using tally marks or charts. A variable is the thing we ask about. Example, favorite fruit, color, or toy. Let's try this. How do you go to school? Welcome to our day two, presenting data using tables. What's your favorite toy? Who likes balls? Who likes dolls? Who likes toy cars? 
who likes kites. In this data, five likes ball, three likes doll, two likes car, and four likes kite. We can organize these tallies into a table to make them easier to understand. In this table, favorite toy of grade 1 learners, 5 of the pupils likes ball, 3 of the pupils likes doll, 2 of the pupils likes toy car, and 4 of the pupils likes kite. Which toy got the highest number? Which toy got the lowest number? How many pupils like kites? When we use a table, it's easier to see and compare the data. Let's try this. Draw and record. Look at the data below. Make a table showing the number of each color. Welcome to our day three. Presenting data in a horizontal pictograph without scale. Which snack is your favorite? Who likes cookies? Who likes sandwich? Who likes fries? Who likes ice cream? In this data, favorite snacks of grade 1 learners, 3 of the pupils likes ice cream. 3 of the pupils likes fries. Two of the pupils likes cookies, and two of the pupils also likes the sandwich. We already have our data in a table. Today, we'll learn how to present this data using pictures. That's called a pictograph. What is a pictograph? A pictograph uses pictures or symbols to show data. Each picture stands for a certain number of objects. Example, data of favorite ice cream flavor of grade 1 learners. Favorite ice cream flavor of grade 1 learners. One ice cream is equals to one learner. Five of the learners likes the chocolate flavor. Three of the learners likes vanilla flavor. And two of the learners likes the strawberry flavor. What picture is used in the pictograph? What does one ice cream stand for? Which flavor is liked by the most learners? Which flavor is liked by the fewest learners? Let's try this. What is your favorite fruit? 
Look at the data below. Use the picture square to make a pictograph. Let's try this. What is your favorite type of bag? Look at the data below. Use the picture circle to make a pictograph. Always remember, a pictograph shows data using pictures or symbols. Each picture stands for one item or one person when there is no scale. Pictographs helps us see and compare data easily. Welcome to our day four, presenting data in a vertical pictograph without a scale. Which sport is your favorite? Who likes basketball? Who likes volleyball? Who likes badminton? Who likes soccer? In this data, favorite sports of grade one learners, eight of the pupils likes basketball. Eight of the pupils likes volleyball. Four of the pupils likes badminton and two of the learners likes soccer. We already have our data in a table. Today, we will learn how to show this information using pictures that go up and down called a vertical pictograph. What is a vertical pictograph? A vertical pictograph shows pictures from bottom to top. We also use a scale to show how many each picture stands for. In this pictograph, favorite sports of grade 1 learners with a scale of 1 check is equals to 1 learners. 4 of the learners likes basketball. 4 of the learners likes volleyball. Two of the learners likes badminton and one of the learner likes soccer. What does the title of the pictograph tell us? What does each picture stand for? Which sport is liked by the most learners? Which is liked by the fewest? Let's try this. What is your favorite toy? Look at the data below. Use the picture heart to make a pictograph. Always remember, a pictograph uses pictures to show data. A data table uses numbers and words to show data clearly. A scale Tell us what each picture stands for. Thank you for watching. Till our next mathematics lesson. Goodbye.